So guys, when we type npm start and hit enter on our React applications, so our React application usually opens on the browser on localhost 3000. By default, our application opens on a non-secure connection, which means if I look at the URL where my localhost is running, I can see that this URL is HTTP and it's not running on HTTPS. But there are cases when we have to run our application on HTTPS in order to test different features in our application which cannot be tested on a non-secure connection. So in this video, we are going to learn how we can run our React applications on HTTPS. As you can see on the screen here, I'm running my React application on HTTPS. And we are going to do this by using a tool called ngrok. So guys, here I am on an official website of ngrok. So if you want to learn more about what ngrok is used for, you can read more into the documentation that they have on their website. So let's discuss quickly why would we need ngrok to run our applications. So in normal scenario, if you want to run your application on HTTPS, you have to buy a server, deploy it to the server, and you also have to probably buy a SSL certificate to run the application on HTTPS. So ngrok is a tool which provides us a quick way to run our applications on HTTPS without actually buying a server or a SSL certificate. So in most cases, we use ngrok when we are building the applications because when we are building the applications, we do not have a server. So we are building it in on our local host. So in that case, if you want to test some features on your application, which probably you won't be able to test on HTTP connections, you can use ngrok, which can expose your localhost application to HTTPS URL. So guys, you can sign up on this website and once you are logged in into the ngrok website, you should be able to see a dashboard, which looks something like this. So here in the dashboard, they have a section that is set up and installation, which explains how we can set up ngrok in our local PC. So let's go to the download section here and download the ngrok for your Windows PC. And once you are done downloading, you should be able to see the zip folder here in the downloads. I can go and extract the files from the zip folder into my PC. And when I open the folder which I have extracted, I should be able to see an application that is ngrok. So I'll open this application. And when I open this application, I should be able to see the terminal which is provided by ngrok. So after you have done downloading and extracting all the files and you are in this terminal, now go back to the documentation and here in the documentation it explains you have to run this command to enable and grow application in your PC. So this command is basically a token that should be unique to your account and you should be able to access it in your dashboard so i'm going to copy this command from here and paste it in my ngrok terminal and hit enter to set up my ngrok application in my pc so now we are done with the setup that we had to do to install ngrok in our pc i'm going to go back to my react application so my react application you can see that it's running on localhost 3000 i'll go back to my browser and see if it's running fine so here in the browser i can see that my application is running on 3000 so what i'll try to do here is i'll try to expose this application on https url using my ngrok terminal so if you go back to the documentation of ngrok again it says step by step what you have to do to expose your application so we have already added the token to our application so ngrok is enabled in our pc so in the next step we are going to copy this command so it's a very simple command that you have to run to expose your application and uh, you can change the port depending on which port your application is running on your pc so in my case, I'm going to copy this and paste it in the ngrok terminal. So in my case, my React application is running on localhost 3000. So I'm going to change this port to 3000 in the command. And as soon as I press enter, my localhost application, which is running on localhost 3000 will be exposed to HTTPS URL. So here in the terminal, I can see the URL where it is exposed. So I can copy this URL, go back to my browser and I can see that my application is still running on localhost 3000 if i try to check if my application is also running on this https url i'll go to that url and it gives you some kind of security warning because we trust and grog.com so i'm going to visit this site so here you can see that the same application that is running on my localhost 3000 is also running on my https url which is provided by and so if i go back to my react application and if i stop running it so now my application is not running on localhost 3000. I can go back and check. So now my, it's not running on localhost 3000. So in that case, if I go to this URL, I should not be able to access the application because this URL is basically exposing the application, whichever is running on port 3000. And if I go back to my 
terminal in my react application and start the application again so after restarting the application my application is back on localhost 3000 i can also go back and check back on the same ngrok url and refresh it again and it's back so you can see that how ngrok is helping us to run our application on the https secure connection without even buying a server or a ssl certificate so it's an easy way to test your applications while you are building on a secure connection so if you found this information helpful subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video